everybody, MushMan139 here, and boy am I stupid. Oh my gosh. So, what happened is, I, I just recorded part two, but as you can see, this is part two. So, I already beat this, uh, Hildeberg, I already beat this, um, run and gun level, I did Ribbery and Cro Croaks, and then I did the Mausoleum. And, <laughs> I was stupid, because I, I, there's a thing where you can, like, screen record on, on my laptop. So, I was doing that, but I didn't close the settings tab. So the whole time, I was talking, and it was just the settings tab. Just me, just having the settings open the entire time. So I apologize for that. Um, anyway, what happened is, we got this super art. I feel so bad, I, I didn't get to show it off, but... Unless I can go back into the mausoleum, but I don't think I can. No, I can't. Oh, boy. Anyway, I'm just going to redo the bosses that I just did. I'm sorry about all that, but... Yeah, I'm not sure why that happened, but... Anyway. Uh, basically, I got this smoke bomb, this invisible dash, which... Is a whole lot easier, because... Uh, instead of dashing... Well, you do dash. You dash, but... You basically have inv invulnerability while you're dashing, so makes things a lot easier to avoid attacks and stuff. But here we got uh, crap. See, now I'm all disheveled because of what happened. Anyway, we got um, Ruby and Croaks here. They're basically um, I think they they have inspiration from uh, Ryu and Ken in a way. Kind of remind me of them because he's shooting Hadoukens here and. Have the same kind of look. Now oh, we got some fireflies. You get it? <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, yeah. So this phase is pretty easy. You're just gonna shoot some Hadoukens at you. Make sure you parry them when you can, like that. And then he's gonna shoot the fireflies. And now, for some reason, he's gonna turn into a fan. As this guy shoots the whatever these are. Pretty easy though. Just go back and forth. Make sure you don't die. That's good advice. Make sure you don't die. Yeah, I'm trying. No. <laughs> I also really like the uh, the setting in this area. It's like a like a cruise ship. It's pretty cool. You got all the all these flies dancing around, smoking, having a good time. Um for some reason, these guys turn into a a um, slot machine. I guess it makes sense since it's like a casino cruise ship type thing. But I'm not sure why frogs are turning into it. You know, I'm just I'm just not gonna question it. It's the 30s. 1930s cartoons never made sense. So you know, whatever. Anyway, there's gonna be three different um, three different phases or three different op three different options for this slot machine. There's gonna be these tiger ones which uh, have these balls jumping up and down, you just want to go back and forth. There's going to be those, uh, the devil ones, which you just saw, the flames come out. You want to either jump on top of them or duck. Um, and maybe they'll show it off. No, it won't. There's one where um, it's like a frog, and it's just like random platforms. It's, there's nothing going on with them. They're just green platforms. Um... <clears throat> Anyway, so there is Ruby and Croaks. Not too hard. Pretty straightforward. See, I got a B minus last time. I think I did even worse. Okay, no, I got I did the same. Alright, so there's that. Stop celebrating. <laughs> oh, here's this this guy with the coins right here. I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah on the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place, too. They'll never get a hold of my gold knife if I spread it around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin, coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. I don't... All right. So basically, if you find some coins around the world, um, he's okay with it. He is fine with it. There's some secret coins. Um, this is the introduction to the airplane levels. So... Some bosses in this game, uh, you have an airplane, you can shoot like this, you can parry, you can turn into like this mini plane to avoid obstacles. 
I don't usually do that that much, but it's there if I really need it. So yeah, as you can see, I already beat this guy, but stupid me forgot to. <laughs> anyway, here's uh, Hildeberg. Um, probably probably pretty difficult for uh, first time players. I remember I had a lot of trouble with it when I first tried it. So she's gonna turn into like three different three di three different options here. There's gonna be a bull like this guy right here. Yeah, he's pretty easy. You just want to make sure you don't get hit. Um, when he lunges at you like that, like that, you don't want to do that. Um, and then she's going to laugh at you, shoot some tornadoes, you know, standard stuff. And then sometimes these guys are going to shoot some crap and make sure you parry them when you can. You got this bow and arrow guy and these crap. Shoots these stars all over. I need to be tiny for this, I might. Nope. Nope. Period. Yeah. Did you die? Would you die already? Alright. There's that. I don't care. Actually, I am using the small plane more than I thought I would. Quit laughing at me. I don't find you amusing. Yeah. Now she's gonna get pissed and turn into a moon for some reason. She's gonna make sure you avoid these stars. And there's gonna be two types of UFOs. <laughs> I was about to explain the UFOs and I die. Alright. Crap. It's fine, I won't take that long. Pretty standard. <laughs> oh, okay, that was close. No! That's ah, screwed, I'm using my super. They'll get us there faster. Oh, we got the two ladies this time. You didn't see last time. Harry! I'm gonna shoot at this ball and it's gonna have these these things flying around. This is very hard in expert mode. I tried it, I still can't beat it. Because that thing goes like ten times faster and it's oh jeez. That thing goes uh, ten times faster and you can barely even dodge it. Just have to get lucky sometimes. Yeah, Alright. I didn't even lose any HP this time. So anyway, we got the moon, as I was saying, and we got two types of UFOs. The brown ones go in front of you, so you want to stay behind, and the red ones go behind you, so you want to go in front, so it's just opposite. Got to make sure you're doing the right thing for each. And she should be dead. Come on. There we go. Well, at least I got to show off the other phase, the other transformation, since I died. Oh my gosh! I got I got a perfect score. Well, geez. <laughs> All right. Well, there's Hildeberg. Now let's move on to Treetop Trouble. Another run gun stage. There's uh, six run gun stages in the whole game, I believe. Peppered throughout. Uh, this one's pretty cool because you got you're climbing up a tree. You can, actually, you can actually parry these pink butterflies, I'm not sure if you knew that, but yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, wait, I pointed that out in the first level. What am I talking about? Alright. Oops. Oops. Eh. Alright. I got the pink ladybugs, too. Since I got the coins, they're gone. Like, usually there would be one back there. But I didn't, I already got it, so... Okay. Ooh, that was close. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Weird old stumps with faces. Sounds about right. I, I didn't see him! 
How am I supposed to sense something that's right above me? What sense does that make? Old Woody Woodpecker looking. Pecking his nose in the wood. I wonder if he made those holes. Yeah, come on. I've been meaning to get the, um, they have a, they have a vinyl soundtrack of this game. Like a vinyl record. I've been meaning to get that, because this has some good music. Very catchy stuff. Yeah, I'd love to get that at some point. I don't have a record player, though, so that's going to be a problem. You have to buy one of those. It would just be something cool to have for the collection, but... Anyway, here we got these little... Uh, mosquitoes, I think. And when you jump on them, they shoot... Okay. <laughs> they shoot fireballs. Or they die from fireballs, so then the platforms are gone. Make sure they don't die from that. We got this mosquito-looking mini-boss here. Pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure you're not standing on a platform that he spits his fire at. Here else your toast. And you're gonna make sure the screen there we go. If you don't wait for that to pan, you just fall right into the thing and die. Just wait for the screen to load. Heck yeah, man. I gotta be <laughs> I did better the first time. Anyway. Yeah, so, I think that just about does it for this episode. As I said, we would have been doing the mausoleum, but I already did it, because I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, next time we are going to be starting um, the famous uh, Cagney Carnation. This is very tough for, as I've heard, um, it was tough for a lot of people on their first playthroughs. Um, I don't think he's that bad, though, honestly. Anyway, we're going to be tackling him next and uh, starting Inkwell Isle 2. So, thank you all so much for watching. This is Mushroom with 39 signing out.